Hey, welcome back to the channel, it's Anna. Um, so today I wanted to discuss why healing is so important. And this is a topic that's um, coming up over and over again um, in the book summaries that I've done and a lot of the other videos that I've done and in my personal life as well, where the real change has happened in my life when I started to focus on myself rather than everyone around me. Um, and so I thought it was a very uh, relevant topic because I know that a lot of people around the world are currently very disheartened with you know, the state of the planet, the state of politics, the state of the school system or the health system. And you know, often we are caught up thinking you know, that we are um, powerless, you know, like what can we actually do to help the world? And what I really truly believe in my core is that the most important thing and the only thing we should really be doing to help the world is to heal ourselves. Because truly change actually happens from the inside out. And this is what I've really observed in my own life when I stopped focusing on everyone and everything around me and started focusing on myself. This is when things actually started to shift. And it's not that things magically change around you once you start healing yourself. Is that it's that on the inside you feel perspective shifts and you start healing limiting beliefs and that actually helps you really know and understand what actions you need to take and you start fully aligning your words thoughts and actions and the really cool thing about focusing on your own healing and yourself is that it has a positive ripple effect around you it will positively impact your kids, your partner, your family and friends, your community, and ultimately anyone you interact with. And it's not necessarily the thing that you will say, it's leading by example, you know? Like the energy that you exude will be so different and the actions you will take will be so different that you will start planting seeds for people around you and you will start having more loving relationships with the people around you. And another thing I want to say is that I came across this really cool experiment that happened with monkeys that really illustrates what I'm trying to say here. And it's this concept of the hive mind and group consciousness. This experiment is called the hundreds monkey effect. This experiment took place in Japan in the 1950s on the island of Koshima, where scientists were providing monkeys with sweet potatoes dropped in the sand. And the monkeys liked the taste of the raw sweet potato, but they found the dirt really unpleasant. And a young female found she could solve the problem by washing the potatoes in water. And she taught this trick to her mother. And her playmates also learned this new way and they taught their mothers too. And this trick was gradually picked up by various monkeys before the eyes of the scientists. And between 1952 and 1958, all the young monkeys learned to wash the sandy sweet potatoes to make them more palatable. But only the adults who imitated their children learned this social improvement. Other adults kept eating the dirty sweet potatoes. But then something started taking place. In 1958, a certain number of Koshima monkeys were washing sweet potatoes. The exact number is not known, but let's suppose that when the sun rose one morning, there were 99 monkeys on Koshima Island who had learned to wash their sweet potatoes. And let's further suppose that later that morning, the hundreds of monkeys learned to wash potatoes. Then it happened. There was a tipping point. And by that evening, almost everyone in the tribe was washing sweet potatoes before eating them. The added energy of that extra monkey somehow created an ideological breakthrough. But something even crazier happened because the scientists actually observed that this habit of washing sweet potatoes jumped over the sea where colonies of monkeys on other islands began washing their sweet potatoes. So basically, when a certain critical number achieves an awareness, this new awareness may be communicated from mind to mind. And this is this concept of hive mind or group consciousness. It's realizing that, you know, we are not just these 3D realities, there's just so much more that we don't understand. And I really believe that this world is about energy. But ultimately, whatever you believe in, just know that you can never go wrong by just focusing on yourself. This is basically where your control lies. You can't control what happens in the world and what other people do around you. But you can definitely control your thoughts and your actions, and you are in charge of your own healing. So in the next few weeks, I will be bringing more videos about inner work. I'll be solely focusing on my own experience and hoping that it helps you because you know we are 
all individual and our healing journey is very, very personal. Um, but I'm really hoping that these videos will help you continue on your healing journey and really focusing on that instead of focusing so much on your kids or anything else. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.